Okay, good evening. This is a meeting of the Freeport Withdrawal Committee on Thursday, June 5th at 6.40 uh, p.m. Uh, in attendance, we have uh, Rich Grand Prix, Kate Warner, and Pete Murray. Um, uh, we'll do our normal routine here. So the first thing is to uh, uh, a motion to waive the reading of the minutes and accept them as written. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Seconded. All right, any notes on the minutes? Nope. Okay, great. All in favor of waiving the readings of the minutes and accepting those written? Aye. Aye. Okay, none in on the other side of that. So where did they pass? Okay, good. Uh, the next thing is a uh, is an update. Uh, so the big update is uh, uh, is with respect to the meeting that we had last week with the D uh, with the DOE and. Uh, uh, we did go up there, uh, and uh, we had uh, had a meeting. They invited us to come up. Uh, I, I was there. Michelle Richardson from the working group was there. Uh, our lawyers uh, were there. My, ours is Dan Stockford, and theirs is Bill Stockmeyer. Uh, and then from the DOE, we had Jim Ryer, who's the acting commissioner, Paula Gravel, and uh, Sarah Forrester was there as well, who is an assistant attorney, attorney general. Um, one of the fun, funny things was one of the first things that they want to talk about was what the vocabulary. They really don't like this school of record term, and uh, uh, and so they've uh, proposed a, a a term called which they've coined called school of guaranteed acceptance. It is. I have a question, Pete. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not the first ones to have a, with, a withdrawal agreement in front of them. And it's taken them what two years to figure out what to use for words. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, the issue is that that uh, yeah exactly. So they've I guess that they, they have taken a long time to figure that out because every every withdrawal probably has unless it's a withdrawal with a high school that's withdrawing from a district that retains a high school then there's going to be a, a issue of school guaranteed ex acceptance. So they've they've coined that term and they'd like us to use it. Um, uh, we. Uh, we also discussed whether it's required that, that a withdrawal agreement address this issue of, of uh, school guaranteed acceptance. And the answer to that, as it was written in the paper, is, uh, is that there is no legal requirement that a uh, withdrawal agreement uh, specifically address that issue. Um, uh, and then, uh, but, they, but the DOE was less clear uh, on the topic of whether or not uh, it was allowable for uh, essentially one party to withhold agreement to the agreement, uh, uh, all the other agreement terms in abeyance uh, against getting satisfaction on a uh, school of guaranteed acceptance question. And uh, they were kind of a, uh, uh, not clear on that, but they basically said, you guys need to go back and negotiate some more on this. And then they, you know, talked a lot about different options and so forth. <clears throat> um, uh, uh, the uh, they did acknowledge that uh, that it that it, that it would be unfortunate if Freeport were, were to be put in a position where it would have to expand its school, expand its program uh, to accommodate uh, tuition students uh, in a situation where they're out of control of that. They did understand the dynamic of if we if we create a really great school that uh, that uh, it'll be you know we'll we'll be oversubscribed in that manner. And uh, um, and so they basically said, you guys need to go away and figure out a solution to this. So they were not uh, particularly, uh, did not provide a whole lot of guidance on that matter. The, uh, the real issue with that is uh, how could they approve something that would leave Freeport required to do a building project when in fact they won't approve one specifically if it requires them to participate <laughs> in the building project? So how could they approve one that forces us to? Right. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, at the end, we agreed that we need a mediator. We need some help. We need someone to help uh, help us get around this logjam and relieve the uh, relieve the pressure. Uh, and uh, then they reiterated that uh, we really have to get this done by mid-July if we're going to meet the timeline deadlines for uh, a November vote. And we have a target for end of June, which we're, which we're both, both parties are still committed to. Uh, and uh, since then, there's been a rapid dialogue of vetting various 
uh, options of mediators. The DOE proposed a bunch of superintendents with no mediation training. Uh, we've looked at some mediators that are expert mediators, uh, but are not superintendents. And we've ended up with a guy who's done a lot of school work, but who is an expert mediator. Uh, and uh, uh, John Alfano. And he, uh, he's got a lot of experience mediating, and, uh, and he'll, uh, he'll be uh, uh, working with us starting on Monday morning at 9 a.m. at our meeting. Uh, tomorrow, each uh, party is going to have a chance to uh, prep, uh, prep this guy. So myself and Dan will talk, will talk to him and on the phone, and uh, Michelle and, and uh, Bill will talk to him on the phone to get him background information and so forth. Uh, and then on Monday morning at 9 a.m. at the town offices of Freeport, we'll be meeting and we'll hold probably a brief public meeting just to adjourn to executive session for each, each group. And then we'll split up into the two rooms we have there. And, uh, and the negotiation will begin in earnest. Um, the hope is we're going to put in a good amount of time then. That's 9 till 12.30, I think, scheduled. And, uh, and the hope is that we'll be able to get some real work done there. Um, and uh, I guess that's the update. Um, Are we still planning to meet uh, that Wednesday, two days later? Yeah, so then, then the next scheduled meeting is Wednesday the 11th at whatever time the, the school board meeting is over. The school board meeting starts at 6.30. If the budget passes tomorrow, uh, I mean Tuesday, then, um, then the uh, meeting will be perfunctory and very short. If it does not pass, there'll be some more uh, time yeah. involved. Hey, Dennis, how are you? Here with all our friends. I see. All right, exactly. How are you? <laughs> Good. Good. I wasn't expecting you tonight. No. You know, yeah. this, yeah. Yeah, all right. right. You're welcome, 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 welcome as always. All right. here, yeah. It's hard to keep track of the program here, so I decided to show up. <laughs> all right, good, good, good. Well, I was going to plan to call you tomorrow anyway if you didn't, uh, didn't arrive. I'm here. But, uh, we're just get, wrapping up an update and trying to get some of the dates uh, on the record here. Oh, so, good. It's helpful. Uh, we've identified a mediator, a guy named John yes. Alfano. I yeah, don't know I said I've been remember. watching all the emails. Yeah. So. And, uh, uh, and then... Uh, Tomorrow we'll have a conversation with him to get him backgrounded, and then Monday morning um, we'll have uh, our first meeting at the town offices, nine to twelve thirty. Nine to twelve thirty, okay. And that'll largely be an executive session with uh, probably this guy doing shuttle diplomacy uh, back and forth. Yeah, it's probably uh, gonna be tough for me to be there. But that's, it's, I mean, it's all right. I think, but okay. you're welcome, and we'd love okay, to. Okay, if you. I can make even part of it all. Then yeah. If you can do that, would be great. Yeah. Does it, is that helpful if I go to only part of it? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. no? yeah, absolutely. 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 Yeah. Um, the uh, uh, Wednesday. So the meeting tomorrow doesn't involve me. The meeting okay. tomorrow is on the phone. It's only uh, gotcha. it's only me and Dan and uh, and the uh, gotcha. media. Um, uh, so it's Monday, and then Wednesday after the uh, school board meeting, assuming the school board meeting is short, which it probably will be, we hope. And uh, and then uh, after that, we've got tentatively scheduled. Our own meeting on Thursday night, which is actually not tentative, but I think we're planning to do that. And then the following week, we've got the 18th and the 19th uh, booked or tentatively booked. And I haven't heard confirmation yet from the uh, from the I haven't heard confirmation from the uh, mediator for the 11th or the 18th or the 19th. But those are all on the table, and I believe nobody said they're not happening. So I presume that it's a that's so a the problem. 11th is still on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be in. Um, and the goal is to get it done yeah. in those, in those four meetings, right? And uh, uh, hopefully with the mediator kind of driving the decision making and helping with some of the um, some of the things. There's really only the two topics left to talk, cover. The, you know, we've we've agreed tentatively agreed on a, ten of the eleven items on the eleven check, item checklist. So that's all done. The only outstanding item on the 11 item checklist is a uh, dispersal of uh, finances, and we're working on, working on that. And uh, so that'll be part of the mediation. And then the other item that uh, we're not in agreement on is uh, is commitments for enrollment after mm -hmm. the thing, which is not a required item, but is uh, is one that uh, uh, the RSC was insisting on. So we're going to talk about it. Um, Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, Abby did say she would be available if we need her. Oh, great. 
On Monday? Monday. Oh, yes. perfect. Well, she's going to be right there, she so we can be, pull her yeah, in. No, it, yeah, no, it, 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 right, it, it works out well that it's out of town hall. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, then she said she might be a little bit late, but okay. she'll be there um, for the and, duration. Uh, the working group can actually continue uh, working right in the, the council chambers, and, and we will uh, um, we can adjourn to Peter's office, which is the other end of the building. Sounds great. So, uh, and there's a table in there large enough for the five or six of us. Okay. Good. Um, any questions about that? I mean, I was the only one there. Did you guys have any things you wanted me to? No, I, um, I, I guess we're, uh, will we be getting an update from the working group um, on their continuing meetings with other communities, do you believe, on Monday? Because it is a, it is a, a working group meeting with us. So each of us can update a bit on where, where we are on other work we're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and hopefully they have been continuing to meet with other, other folks. And they're trying to meet a second meeting with the RMF. And they, were, um, they had some working things going on with Brunswick. And so hopefully they have some updates there. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk with Michelle tomorrow, and we'll come up with a little agenda outline for Monday. But, uh, and I and hope, hope to keep very short. Do a little short updates at the beginning, and then and then go right into the into the meat of it. But I think that that's uh, worthwhile asking Rich. I'll do it. And uh, the uh, they did do a survey. Did anybody hear the results of the survey? Mm -hmm. Michelle mentioned one at the um, at the meeting, and I don't want <coughs> to quote her out of context. But she did say that uh, that the survey reflected that 50% uh, of the parents expressed a preference for Brunswick and 50% for Freeport, so, so that's. Um, yes, sir. It was done um, at their working group meeting. It was their working group did it. I don't know. Um, I don't um, know what the result. I don't know what the mechanism was, or what the you know how many people participated, or whatever. I don't know any of that stuff. But she just. You might ask her if she could share share the results with us. Yeah. Right. I've got minutes that note on May nineteenth is the last minutes that I can see. Um, and then they mentioned they were doing it, but. His, yes. Historically, I've forgotten uh, what the breakdown was before the uh, before the RSC was formed. Were there a substantial number of kids going to Brunswick? Yes. Okay. Yeah. From there. Their kids the, and their transportation went to Brunswick. The bus was going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. We still have some tuition students in the upper grades. And as this, as oh, we got closer okay. to doing this, we had they were they were they moved from eight or ten to twenty or better um, the last year or two before we consolidated because we've been talking about this for a year or gotcha. two. Um, and, and for, for we had a, uh, an outstanding, a long-standing agreement with Pioneer, um, where they were helping with uh, some capital costs, but they were also um, really they've been with us 10 or 12 years already, I think, and yeah. with an with an agreement, and before that, uh, yeah. without one. Okay. It's one of those things where the the districts had settled into a yeah. fairly good working relationship with various with whatever the resources were that were around and that was in place and was working pretty well as far as I could tell and, and certainly efficiently more efficiently than the district is together as a whole so uh, so I think it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's a case of uh, you know uh, uh, false economies as far as efficiencies on, on administration or anything like this in this particular consolidation. There really wasn't anything to be gotten out of it. And the RPC said as much when they consolidated and they put together the plan that, that part of the thing was we don't see any efficiencies. Yeah, yeah. well, and, and largely because they were already there um, with, with Lisbon already right. and so right. 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 We were doing that work for Powell. Um, Public Works was doing all the, land, the, all yeah. the work around yeah. the building. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we were doing, uh, we take care of their buses for them. Um, so th there was a lot of that had been worked out, whatever worked the very best for each of the communities, but our hands weren't tied by the consolidation, the, uh, consolidation law. law. And the consolidation law said, well, you know, we don't care if you're really efficient now, you have to do this. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, I guess that's the, that's the update. Um, we're uh, going to have public comment now, which is... Uh, the line's going out the door. Uh, <laughs> it's short this evening. Right? It's, it's pretty short, but uh, we do invite anybody to come to these meetings and have a uh, dialogue with us if folks are interested. Um, and I would encourage folks from Pablo Durham to have, you know, to have something that they, they really would like to say or get off their chest or help have us know going forward. It would be very helpful. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, uh, with that, uh, unless there's something else anybody wants to get uh, while we have the recording on, 
Let's have a motion to enter into executive session to discuss follow-up legal strategy and consult with the committee's legal counsel regarding the June 9th negotiation meeting with the RSC5 working group pursuant to 1 MRSA section 4056E. I move, I move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. None in opposition. And we'll go into executive session. Thanks, guys.